Hey guys, uh, sorry it took so long to get the results in. Um, it seems like everything's about a week behind. Um, this was our first race on the 23rd. Uh, yesterday we flew our second race and I'm just now getting the results for the first race. But uh, this is how I did. So our race was flown on 23rd, release was at 7. Uh, wind was a northwest 6 miles an hour I would assume temperature is at 75 we had 237 birds flown average speed or I guess race flown speed was 42.81 miles per hour um, and you can see down the list I came in 35th not bad still top 20% first race ever uh, 024 did real good uh, 1185 yards per minute she pulled in a 1p even though I pulled a 2p um, I'm not sure exactly how that works I'll I'll know more as I as I continue flying but not not too bad out of 237 birds I came in 35th that's not bad at all um, hopefully we do better on the next couple races I've been training pretty hard with the local flyer as well he's retired so he's got the time to take him down the road but uh, there's my loft name there press to blue lofts I did have 15 out of the 18 birds come in um, obviously further down the list this is just the top 42 and on the back of this there's uh, the rest of the birds that are sorry about that the rest of the birds that are in the money so you can see some of the birds that came in um, overall not not a bad race I mean it was a some guys said it was a little bit of a rough race I, for me I, I, I don't know just like I said, my first time racing, so I'm not sure what what good or bad is. Um, I'm just glad to have placed, uh, you know, top 20%. So that was last week's race. This week's race, I just got the the printout. Um, these are my birds that I sent. I sent 17. Uh, I was down three, and I got one this morning. I got 034 this morning. I'm still down my black white flight and a little blue check cockbird but uh what i do notice though right away is 024 is the first bird home again this race so i'm not sure what to do with that i mean does it mean anything is she a good hen should i start pulling higher on her i really don't know um i'm just i'm psyched that she's the first one home two races uh, i'm gonna send her on the third fourth and if she just keeps placing first every single time for me I think I'm just gonna retire her to the breeding loft. I mean, she's got what it takes and she's got, you know, the smarts, I guess. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I mean, again, you know, I got birds all over the place. You know, let me give you a for instance. Uh, the second bird home I have, 019, was the very last bird I had last race. I didn't even clock how late it was, and this time it was second place. You know, so they're kind of coming all over the place, which, you know, that's what I expect, I guess. Nothing, nothing, no surprise there. But 024 is definitely a surprise. I mean, she came home, you know, on her own. We're looking at you know, five minutes ahead of the second bird. You know, hours, hours ahead of the last bird. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, she's a nice little hen. Definitely like to keep her. But I'd also like to race her some more. See if she can improve, especially on, you know, if she can get to the top 10%. But, again, twice she's been my first bird home, so... We'll give her another couple races, and if she shows the same kind of result, I think I'm just going to put her in a, in a breeding coop and, and try my luck with her next year on breeding. But That's how I did. I'll let you guys know how I do on second race. But yeah, 35th, top 20%. I'm really not complaining. For my first race, I assumed I'd be, you know, last guy at the bottom, you know, racing against some of these guys that know what they're doing, that have been racing for 30, 40, 50 years in some cases. But uh, top 20 isn't bad. I'll take that any day. You guys see some of the results here. But I'll let you guys know when I get the printout, which would be, again, in a week from now uh, on how I do on the second race. By then, we'll be on our third race. So it's kind of a week behind. Just bear with me, and I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys in touch. All right, guys. Thanks.